All right, guys, let's do a little weekend uh, project, I guess you could say, or a little update. Let's work on this thing. <laughs> um, well, I want to work on figuring out the whole... Gosh dang, this thing is dark as hell. There we go. Uh, I want to work on figuring out um, at least getting a ballpark of what we're going to be doing with the shifter. I mean, as you can see, it lines up super close. That right there is um, one of the mounts for the shifter. The other one is right back there. That's how you see. But you get the idea. See the hole? It almost lines up, but the problem with it also is that it doesn't sit smack dab in the middle of the torque tube, so the shifter actually sits over on the side. It's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, it sits more around here. So I wanna see if maybe I wanna keep it that way or just see if we're gonna have to fabricate a whole new shifter mount at least to uh, get it in the middle so it's more natural. But yeah, to do that, we're gonna have to clean out this interior, get it, get it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, guys, that was nice and easy. <laughs> I wish everything was that easy. <laughs> So yeah, got it all cleaned out, all nice and neat. Whoa. So yeah, so now you can get a better view of what I'm talking about. That's the front bolt, this front bolt right here. So it'll probably be somewhere around there, which seems a little too close to the steering wheel for me, but obviously it's gonna be more like down there-ish. Still seems a little too much, but we'll figure that out here soon enough. Travis was nice enough to get me some C5 wheels. These are uh, 18s. The 18s uh, by, I believe, nine and a half. I have the other ones, the whole set right here, pretty much. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the front just yet, but as far as the back, I'm not 100% I'm not sold on 18s. They look a little big. Also, I'm trying to figure out where the suspension is going to sit, because right now, it seems way too low which would make the car really high up. So I'm about to play with the suspension a little bit and see where it will actually sit. Looking at other pictures of, a, of C5s and seeing where the lower uh, control arm sits in relation to the cradle, it looks like in most pictures it's almost pretty much parallel with it. So we're gonna play around with that a little bit, see if we can get the uh, cradle to sit a little bit higher if need be. But yeah. Well, gosh dang, I got a little carried away here. <laughs> I uh, mounted the shifter, as you can see here. So I can show you guys. See this? Grab the light. It's all mounted. I notched it, the tunnel. So I cut it out, and now it's all mounted. It's not the linkage isn't hooked up yet, but just to show you guys, give you an idea of what I'm working with here. This is what it would be like. Right now it's neutral, just in the middle there. My knee hits here on the steering wheel. I'm a tall guy, I'm like 6'2". So, if I have it in first, you could see <laughs> how close I am to my knee now. I mean, if I move my leg up from, you know, moving over to the brake pedal, I definitely hit it, but. I guess it's not really a big concern, but so I'm thinking whether if I should actually uh, relocate it to the center, how where the factory one is, the Porsche one is, or if I should, which I probably am going to do anyways, uh, get a different wheel that kind of sticks out this way a little bit to give me more leg room here. Because uh, I mean, it, yeah, it's a nice wheel, but it's a cheap wheel. <laughs> and you can see, look at this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's super flexible and it's just, it's a crappy wheel. It's just and no that is not the the column or anything it's the actual steering wheel flexing Being so cheap but yeah so I mean I, I kind of like the location where it's at right now it's not bad plus I was thinking maybe I can add a, the e-brake over here instead of over here because 
It's all tucked up and under here. And I always hated the sea break over here. I'm not a lefty. But yeah, I think over here would be nice for the e-brake, maybe. Uh, yeah, as far as suspension, though. Look at that. <laughs> so I was able to play with the suspension a bit. You can see now it's pretty close to parallel. So just to be safe, that's where it's just going to be sitting pretty much. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I feel like it's still a hair like a hair too low and the the butt of the car might be a little jacked up giving it a little bit like a rake stance but i don't know it might not be too bad i definitely i, I know i'm gonna have to cut the fender i know and i'm obviously gonna be doing some sort of fender flares or wide body or some something like that but yeah the tire would probably be up to here and this i'm sure will squat when you launch so it's probably just gonna shred the tire but yeah i was able to also add the passenger side suspension that looks pretty nice yeah unfortunately i tried to go up more but i am limited i would like to go a hair more up with the whole uh drivetrain and torque tube and everything but the uh the tunnel is kind of limiting me because it kind of bottlenecks at the top half of the back it's hard to say hard to see yeah but at the top portion of the torque tube it goes straight and then i mean not, sorry not the torque tube the tunnel goes straight and then it curves in when it curves in it's already pretty much maxed out it's touching that part so if i really want to go up higher i'm gonna have to cut the tunnel which i'm not sure if i'm down for that just to gain a little bit more uh room but uh yeah it's looking killer I like it a lot. This is this is technically what ride height would be. I like it. I can't wait to see it with tires on it. But yeah, once we get a two bender and all that stuff, we'll be able to get it mocked up properly. But yeah, guys, that is about it for this weekend's update. This will probably be the last update in a while until we get a two bender, unless there's you know more updates and stuff. If there is any, I'll definitely uh, film and let you guys know. Look at that crazy wheel just sticking out. <laughs> Put a fat tire on. I can't believe that's only a nine and a half uh, inch wide wheel. Because I'm definitely not going to run a nine and a half. I'm wanting at least a 10 or 11. So, and with the right offset, I might be able to pull it off so it doesn't stick out too crazy. Or who knows? I don't know. I might go crazy. Who knows? <laughs> well, all right, guys. That's about it for this little weekend update. Uh, played around with it a bit. Thanks to Travis for the wheels. Hooked me up there. Um, got the shifter in. I'm not sure if that's the final location. But, uh, yeah, this thing's going to look killer. I love it. So far, it's looking great. Stay tuned, guys, for more updates. And uh, subscribe to Instagram and YouTube. And I'll see you guys soon.